back to my channel. Um, if you are new, my name is Nikki. I am going to show you guys what I do to treat my skin if I'm having any sensitivity or breakouts, anything like that. It's been a long week, so my skin's kind of suffering right now. So I'm just going to do a basic mask. I've already cleansed and everything while I was um, getting ready, taking a shower and things like that. It's usually egg white, yogurt, honey and turmeric. Um, so I've already cracked the egg white. It's in a little bowl over here. That I will mix with half a teaspoon of turmeric. Sure you guys can see over here. That's half a teaspoon of turmeric. And a teaspoon of plain yogurt. Fresh yogurt. Plain yogurt. And a teaspoon of honey. So this mask is not like a paste consistency. It is very runny but once it dries on your skin it has a very tightening effect to it so whisk all that together yes, you guys. just a warning if you are making this mask it's going to be too much for you to just apply it in one use but you can use it the day after like put some cling wrap over it and refrigerate it and then the next day you can just give it another little bit of a whisk and um, then you can reuse it the following day i wouldn't use it again after that i would throw the rest away if there is any more left because um, with fresh products you don't want to cause any irritations if it perhaps um, perishes so it gets old so you don't want to use and reuse too much okay so it looks a little bit foamy now you can't see it now because I can't reach it to the camera so I'm gonna use a little brush and I'm gonna apply it to my neck and face the egg white so the reason why I choose to do egg white it's because it absorbs any excess dirt or oil that might be clogging your pores it's very tightening after it sits so that would mean it closes your pores and it has a lot of vitamins and minerals sorry guys i'm trying to concentrate and talk to you guys at the same time so just bear with me vitamins and minerals which is good for topical application but also ingesting but you don't want to eat any um raw egg white just in case there's any allergies present you don't want to get sick and you don't want salmonella always better to cook it and um, if you do perhaps have any allergy to any poultry chicken based product maybe um, like chicken eggs or chicken itself it would be best to do a patch test so you'll do on your sensitive areas just a little bit leave it on for 15 minutes wash it off and see that day or the next day as well if there are any reactions before you apply it to your face so the egg white goes very well with the yogurt 
because the yogurt like i said in my previous video it's very good as a exfoliant and because of the lactic acid that's inside there with the yogurt breaking down any of the waste that has accumulated into your pores the egg white then assists with the absorption of whatever was broken down so you're more likely to see a better result when using it together or after each other you can actually do the yogurt as a exfoliator on its own and then do the egg white you can also mix the egg white with avocado and the plain yogurt the avocado is very nourishing as well yogurt also is assisting with anti-aging helping with acne eczema and rosacea so if you have any sensitivity it's really good for that and also it contains B vitamins, zinc and calcium so you are going to apply it over your face, right into your neck up and outwards always be careful for your eyes it is going to tighten quite a bit and so it might feel a little bit strange when you're trying to move your face while you have your mask on so you can see it's yellow because of the turmeric and it's still wet so that you will leave for about 15 minutes and then you wash it off so the rest of this so i still have quite a bit left the rest of it you will keep put some cling wrap over it seal it and then put it back into your refrigerator keep it refrigerated and then um to, like the day after you've mixed it you can use it again when you're doing your cleansing and um it will be good so yes, so there was the egg white, the yogurt, the honey, there's honey in there as well. Um, you will find that a lot of over-the-counter product has honey in it. There is lip ointments, after sun balms, lotions um, that contain honey. So honey is a, um, a very common ingredient that is usually added into any like into many skincare products it's antimicrobial so it assists with wound healing it is anti-inflammatory and anti-aging as well so that's why i usually use it when i have some um, breakouts healing up um, or any like sensitivity in my skin if i stress or if i've been busy or i haven't been sleeping good or if i haven't been eating well um i usually it shows in my skin like fast so for this week it's been quite a bit of a week and um that's why i need to give my skin a bit of a boost give myself a bit of a boost catch up on some sleep and yeah so all of this combined with me actually taking the time out to sleep and all of those things it's gonna help for all of what's going on in my face right now with this i added um turmeric so turmeric um it's basically anti-inflammatory it reduces inflammation it's antibacterial it is antioxidant it is so antioxidant basically means it prevents you, it keeps you from being open to free radicals which destroys healthy skin cells, if that makes sense. So 
that would then prevent hyperpigmentation, it would prevent scarring, it would assist with the improvement of the appearance of scarring. Also, it treats skin irritation and is quite anti-aging because it treats that little fine lines and wrinkles that you get. Um, so turmeric is actually really good. All of these products, products, food ingredients, um, it's really good if you ingest it, but it's also great if you just apply it topically. So a combination of the two really helps with detoxification and healing yourself from the inside out. Yogurt is a good probiotic. Turmeric um, decreases inflammation. It's also good for detoxification. Honey, um, soothing, hydrating. And um, I usually apply some honey-based products onto my lips as well. Especially if my lips are extremely dry and dehydrated which it has been for a little bit and then um, the egg white obviously so um, everything has its spot in why I'm using it so you guys can try it um, if you want to if you are aware that you don't have any allergies to what is in this mask um, you can go to your doctor and see if he suggests um, you do some type of test or something like that if you want professional um, assistance with that or you can um, just do the patch test so your your most common and good areas for you to do a patch test would be behind the ear over here on the inside of your wrist any sensitive area on the inside of your arm over here you can do a little bit of a patch test leave it there for 15 minutes and then either directly after you had it on your skin after you've washed it off you will either see a reaction if you are allergic to it or the following day so just keep track of it um that day and then the following day and then if you see nothing then you're good to go if you do if you do have a bit of a reaction then I suggest you don't use it on your face because your face your skin is very sensitive to like external factors so you don't want to take the risk um, but yeah I'm gonna leave this on for about 15 minutes and then I will catch you guys later two hours later and we're done so this is how it looks after the 15 minutes I can just about move my mouth because I didn't put too much around the mouth area um, I can barely move my forehead <laughs> um, so it's quite tight I am going to rinse and then I'll show you like after I finish rinsed and when I'm applying my moisturizer so be back in a minute. More moments later. All gone. Okay, so washed everything off. You can see where I have the most inflammation, breakouts, and things. And this is. It's just normal. I tend to turn the red and get like lots of red blotches randomly especially after I've used like not very hot water but even just a of lukewarm water um, that's me so after I wash my face that's usually what you find and so now we turn just to calm it down after you've removed the mask you'll find it feels the skin feels very soft so if you've had any excess dead skin cells accumulated or anything like that those would be taken care of and you can see that's what the toner also does is just remove any excess of anything that you may have missed after you have washed
so usually all these will go in a few days or about a week week or so maybe just over a week depending on how often I treat my skin depending on what I eat how much stress how much water and how much sleep I get this will be taken care of quite fairly soon so that's nice and dry moisturizer I have a lot of blood circulation in my skin which I love because that means my skin will heal up nice and fast or um, faster at least than what it would if I hadn't done anything so there we go that is my mask that I usually do when I'm trying to clear my skin treat the sensitivity things like that hope you guys enjoyed the video um, like comment subscribe click the notification bell if you want to see another one um yeah leave some comments with regards to if you like the video or not um and share with your friends share 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 um yeah see ya